Today I will show you how to make the scrunch title card. <laughs> Yo, hello, it's Bovika from Editing Visuals here and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is download this free font. It's called Peristiva. I don't know how to pronounce it and if you go to the link in the description, you can go down, 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 even more down. And here you can press on free download. And once you have downloaded it, you can now start typing your title. So I don't know what title it's gonna be for you. I'm just gonna type like title with the Peristiva font. You can press P and then position it to wherever you want you can also press on pen behind here and you can jack this to the middle i'm gonna position it to like 691 297 and i'll later make the different uh, for this one i have a green color like this one 160 here on pixels and the pretty of font uh, you can type whatever you want here for this tutorial i'm gonna have like two main words and then i'm gonna type osama son because it's a song and i'm just gonna type directed by povikas although it's not directed by me but you know it just and now we can actually add some cool effects on this one so we can add deep glow now this is not needed you can add like different glows than deep glow this is a plugin but this is not too much of an important effect and i'm gonna make the radius to 250 and the exposure to 0 0.5 and now i'm gonna go to effects and presets right here i'm going to add add grain add it on top of deep glow and here make the viewing mode final output the intensity to 5.6 and the size to 0 0.5 now let's add noise and I'm gonna make the amount of noise to 30% and I'm gonna uncheck use color noise. Now we can save this as a preset so we can like press control A, go to animation, save animation preset and we can call it like for grunge text press save this will save us time later on uh now i'm gonna type another text so here i'm gonna type like card take the pen behind tool and just drag it to the middle i'm gonna press p and i'm gonna, I'm gonna position it to whatever like 1091 and this one's to 691 i'm gonna use a bit lighter green for this one it's a bit cooler to use just a tad bit different colors here but they're like similar and now we can add the preset that we just made so for grunge text well, let's go to radius and change it back to 500 so i, I kind of like one text having the radius of 250 and the other to 500 and now let's add another text i'm gonna type here osama son the creator of the song osama son and here i'm gonna actually make the size of it to 80 pixels because i kind of want this to be a bit lower and now i need to just make center this one i'm gonna press p and i'll just like make it like 917 and this one 945 i'm gonna add the four grunge text preset but the only difference i'll do here is i will delete the deep glow because i think it looks cooler when two are glowing so one is glowing a bit less and the other one is glowing a bit more in a high radius and the other one is just not glowing at all and now i'm gonna go to card and press s and also i'm gonna go to title and press s and here i'm gonna change the scale of these so i'm gonna press on this button right here i'm gonna make it to 250 and i press on this button because i could change this value now to a bit different so i'm gonna make it to 405.7 that looks really cool and now let's go to card and also uncheck this button right here and i'm gonna make this to 200 here and this one to 324.5 i think that looks hella cool and i'm gonna type the last text so let's go type who directed it so i did not direct this but i'm just gonna type there and then by Povikas, because i'm just giving you like an idea here so let's change the font here so i'll i'll change it to ghastly panic now this is a font from the font it's absolutely free i recommend to use it and i'm gonna change the pixels to 112 and also i'm gonna make the color to red go to effects and presets add four grunge text and here let's delete the deep glow as well and add drop shadow and i like to make the drop shadow opacity to 100 and i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna change the position a bit so like 1340 and 270 yeah i think that looks really cool uh but we can add way more now so we can press ctrl y on top of every effect here and here we can add a plugin called signal uh, if you don't have it it's fine i'll show you a bit more cool stuff later on but with signal you can do a lot here you can go to luma modulation and turn off turn on off and tape errors uh make the signal amplification to zero cut off filter to just the high as you can go a hue noise to one chroma loss to zero and here we have a really cool like damage effect so look how it looks before and after i think it's a pretty cool difference here and now we can select everything that we have here right click press pre-compose and here we can call it like normal 
And now let's right click on it again and press pre-compose and here we can call it 480 x270 and go to move all attributes into new composition press ok and now go to this composition that we made go to composition composition settings and here make the width to 480 and the height to 270 press ok now press s and now scale it down to like 25 and now let's just go to fit and we'll see damaged even more and now let's add some cool effects here so we can press ctrl alt y and the first effect I want to add here is exposure. Uh, keyframe it at zero at the start and then press U. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make it go to the start and then go one frame forward like here. And here I'm going to make it to one. And now I'm going to go like three frames forward right here. And I'm going to make the exposure to zero. And now I'm going to hold alt and press on the stopwatch. And here I'll type loop and then press on the loop out here and go out of there. And this will basically flicker the exposure. And now we can add CC vignette. Uh, make the CC vignette amount to 150 and that looks cool now let's add gaussian blur add on top of cc vignette uh, i like to make the blurriness to 1.3 click on repeat edge pixels and now let's add add grain uh, make the viewing mode to final output of course and then make the intensity to 0.8 and the size to 0.2 and now let's add levels make the input black to 35.7 and output white to 240 and the last effect that we'll add here is noise and let's make the noise amount amount of noise to 13 percent and uncheck use color noise and here we have a super cool look we can go out to the main composition and we can press s and we can scale it to like 400 two percent and we'll have this super grungy title card and we can go back to 480 x270 composition and here we can press on one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select the keyframes and let's go to animation save animation preset and here we can call it like four and then i typed it like this for 480 x270 title and then press save and whenever you want to make this cool text or even just add this effect you'll just be able to go here and type four 480 x270 title and that will be a really cool effect here of course guys really mess around here a lot the title card is just because i don't know how to like name it right now but you, you can name it whatever this can work with one word or more words but then you just have to place it a bit differently i like the idea of like having the e and c next to each other and then having like directed by someone and then the name of the person when editors make title cards they like to change up the effects a bit so like for example like at the first start of the effect it's like this effect and then like press ctrl shift d and like uncheck this one and then they add other effects that are a bit different from that one or that look super more damaged so i know a really good effect so press ctrl alt y and let's cut it up a bit and this effect is actually from my newest opium presets pack the Opium Presets Pack is a 30 plus presets pack, which includes Opium effects, Opium glitches, and even Opium text. And if you have the Opium Presets Pack, you can easily just type here, Opium, go to Opium Presets right here, and then Opium 7 480 x270, and drag it here. And this will be a super dope effect. One thing I will change here is I go to the effects, and you see, one of the effects I have for the Opium 7 is the S shake, so I like to turn it off, because a title color should probably not shake, but you can, of course have a shake but i think i made the shake a bit too much for this preset i'm not gonna lie and this will look super cool and then you can like go a couple of frames forward and just delete it again and then we can make it back to the normal preset and we can go to the main composition and here are another adjustment i like to sometimes add it's like press ctrl y and we can add like motion tile and here we can make the output width to like 80. Uh, the opium presets pack also includes a bunch of glitches. At the end of title cards, I see like the title card like glitch. To actually make a title card glitch, we can use the opium presets pack. So we can press Ctrl Y and we can cut it up to like the ending and we can duplicate this adjustment layer. And on the top one, I'll add whatever opium glitch. I guess opium glitch 2 looks cool. I use it in the intro of the video to make it glitch. So here it instantly starts to glitch. And then we can go to this composition and make add like as time so it glitches mostly like just a couple of frames and here we can make the frame rate to like four and show only four frames per second and this will make for a super cool glitch and it will glitch to the end but it should glitch up to a new clip this is how the title card looks without the clip and if you guys want to check out the opium presets pack i also have a five dollar discount code which is povicus if you have any questions please let me know and guys have a fun and productive day see ya